Hey guys, today we're installing the Mavitech intercooler on this Mark 6 GTI. It's available on my website in the description below. Mavitech intercooler for the Mark 6 and also Mark 5 GTI. So your intercooler kit is going to come with the Y pipes. So right here is going to connect to your stock intercooler and then these ones are going to connect to the new intercooler so it is a twin cooler uh, and it's a dual intercooler setup come with these these are adapters to fit where how they adapt the stock intercooler to the new piping and then we have uh, some hose clamps for the install T clamps and then we have the uh, Mavitech intercooler So first we're going to start by jacking up the car. You don't have to do this, but it makes the install easier. So now that we have the car jacked up, it's going to make it a lot easier to access bolts underneath. So first thing you're going to want to do is remove the grill. So you're going to use a T25. This is probably just going to be... We need some music behind the problem. remove the rest of the T25s. There are four in here and then four on this side. One here and one here. Then underneath the car there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's quite a few down here but you're gonna want to take the splash guard off. So pretty much take off every T25. with two hands, <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I gotta get your hand in there too. Yeah, don't drop it on the ground like that. <laughs> We're not gonna show that, I'll just cut that part. <laughs> ah, so uh, before you fully move your bumper away from the car, make sure you unplug the side marker and the fog light harness. And then there's gonna be a little clip right there that just pops right out. <laughs> so uh, with the air diverters, you're just gonna pretty much pull it off and then pull it to the side, give it a good tug. Yeah, so don't worry about like destroying these because you are not going to put them back on. We're just going to want to push the horns up like this to get more room. There's passenger side. And then driver side because the charge pipe is going to have to go right underneath. Paper, so you're going to want to take off the ambient air 
temp I mean, sensor. All you need to do for that is just simply just push down on it, and it'll pop right through. And we're gonna relocate that later on. This you can either cut it off, or we're just gonna do. We're just gonna push it back out of the way. Like so. So to remove the driver's side uh, OEM intercooler piping, you're gonna to wanna to take a 9 30 seconds socket, and that's all you need. You wanna show them real quick? You're gonna to wanna to remove these clips holding the charge pipes to the intercooler. You're just gonna take a flathead. Just pry them off. Find a space under there. And pry them off. And you wanna do that on this one, the one coming from the pancake pipe, if you still have one. And then the one over there coming off that side of the inner door. Can you see anything? Yeah. And then once you remove the clips, you just gotta twist a little and pull, and they pop right out. Ooh, there she goes. So now you wanna grab your adapters. The smallest one is coming from the pancake pipe. You just want to put this in here. Don't forget about that O-ring. Ah, true. Yeah. Start over. Well, we can just keep going. So, you're going to want to... With the larger holes coming off of the uh, intercooler pipes, you're going to take the O-rings off of those two and then put it on the larger adapters and then the o-ring coming off the pancake pipe it's the green one that is going to go to the smaller adapter which is the smallest o-ring yeah and the green one's also the smallest o-ring i'm mean, just uh, show them this real fast Just make sure you push it in, like so. Should look something like this. Dude, you're just gonna wanna line up the grooves on here with the grooves on the OEM location, and it should go in like so. And that's it. You wanna show them the clip? The clip. The clip you have to put on there. Oh, we have to put that back on? Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's how it holds good. Okay. And then after you do that, it's in there nice and snug. You're gonna to wanna to take the clips that we just took off and just replace these back on there. There we are. <laughs> Actually, it worked better for us to put the clip in first and then slide the adapter in, and then you can hear it click on both sides. If I can get it to focus, that's how you're gonna want it to sit. It should sit flush. Yeah, flush and cute. So you're gonna wanna line it up and then then trim some off. Just with a razor blade? Yeah. I'm gonna have some extra tubing. There's some extra just for different setups. But we trimmed ours a little just so it would fit better.
so we drilled a little hole for the self-tapping screw and then we screwed her in and now we're going to do the same on the other side does this look good oh yeah And then you're going to want to put your uh, ambient air temp sensor in the new spot. Oh, yeah. And then watch out real quick, let me get a little walk around of it. Pretty cute. Here's the finished look. We kept the grill, gonna keep it sleeper. And uh, he said his IATs were in the what what 160, 160 range, 150, 160 during watt. So we're gonna take a little ride right now and see how things are looking. What do you usually hit? Twice that, bro. <laughs> that, that's impressive. And it's still pulling hard too, right? Yeah. Like it doesn't... It feels, it feels fucking fast. It feels yeah. good? I want to do a third gear pull because I can hit like 20 pounds. Does it show like... My IT, yeah, right here. Point to it again? Right here. So right now, cruising, it's going about, it's about 90 degrees. Yeah. And wide open, I saw about 85, 86. Wow, awesome. Tops. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so we cut the, on a KO3 turbo, we cut the IITs in half. And it still pulls hard. And do you notice any more lag? Not at all. Yep. Yeah, people say with the dual intercooler setup, you'll feel more lag, but we, we're not really noticing anything. But yeah, guys, that's it for the install. Thanks for watching. We'll do one more poll for you. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs>